Welcome back! Uh, this is Lady Beaver. Cersei is going to continue playing the Game of Thrones Telltale game. Um, this is just the uh, normal intro, I guess you could say. Um, I guess it's just a little bit cartoonified, more so. <laughs> So, what have we learnt from the first? Um, it was set in, it was set at the time of the Red Wedding. Um, House Forrester, who are the bannermen of House Stark, um, just got slaughtered. We know what happened inside the castle, if you didn't know. Um, and yeah, so basically, looks like the head of House Forrester and. His firstborn son, um, Sir Roderick, um, have both died. So, and we're heading to, well, House Forester, I guess. From, sorry, ice. From, oh my God, I can't even. Iron from ice. This is episode one. King's Road. Forrester Grove, I think that's it. I have no idea. Oh, excuse me. Piggy, piggy, piggy. Uh, okay, so we're just doing our first, like, actual tutorial kind of stuff. Piggy! And let's look at blood. Ugh. Blood. Look at it. Blood. Fresh. Oh, we're gonna. Oh, piggy. So, if you didn't remember, this guy's actually from a pig farm, and this doesn't look too good if the pigs are slaughtered. Something's worrisome. Ooh. That's not good. Okay, I can't go that way. But the smoke was over this way anyway. That's father's car. Crap. Bolton better give us fucking titles for this. Think it may be common, but at least still have its bacon. Oh, <laughs> picky. Sounds more like more than three guys, but I guess I guess we can come out. Ah. Go along, boy. There's nothing for you here. <laughs> oh, the... I said move on. I recognize you. You're a forester squire. Former Stark bannermen have no claim on land anymore. Or haven't you heard? The Starks are dead. Where'd you get that sword? Not a chance that sword is his. Must have stolen it. Out here by himself. Probably a deserter. Lord Forrester gave me this sword. Hmm. Forrester. I should have known. <laughs> that sword's too big for you, boy. You can barely pick it up. Get off my land. This is Bolton land now, boy. Lord Bolton is the new warden of the north. Mm -hmm. I reckon he'd like a proper lordly sword like that. <laughs> oh. Quick times. <laughs> No. I'll have that sword, boy. Come get it, you bastard. Finish this fucking pig farmer. Pathetic. Uh, uh, you really are 
a pig farmer, aren't you? Oh, that's good. Oh. Oh. This way. I'm... Oh. Oh crap. Oh shit. No. Ah! Ah, uh, oh. <laughs> Oops. Let's try that again. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Told you I wasn't very good at quick time events. Okay. There we go. I got it that time. Mercy, please. I beg of you. I, I have a family. They'll never survive without me. I have no quarrel with you. I, I was only following orders. I'll show my sir. Thank you. Lord Whitehill will see you hang for this. That much I promise. Ah. Uh. Um, father. Oh. Garrett, you survived. Uh. Your, your sister. Oh, she hid. Uh. I tried to stop them. Aww. That's sad. Hey, already Game of Thrones, eh? Someone's. someone close to you is dead. Meet us in the Great Hall, quickly! <laughs> Two White Hill soldiers and a Bolton. They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she... She was only eight years old. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable. Unacceptable. You have my condolences. Thank you, Mister. Mm, the blade cut deep, but I should be able to save your leg. Your justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the White Hills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. I'd do it again if I had the chance. If we don't respond with strength, they won't stop until they have everything. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Hold the wound open for me, would you? Oh. Gross. 
dark days, I fear. To lose the lord of the house and the eldest son through such a despicable act of treachery and betrayal. Greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. And poor Roderick. A serious man, but he would have made a good lord. Roderick and Lord Forrester. We can avenge them. And attack House Frey. Now is the time to find allies, not enemies. The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Although he is young and altogether unprepared to lead. Mm. Right. Uh, this might hurt a bit. Hold this for me, will you? I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. It's unfortunate the Citadel doesn't train maesters in the art of Warcraft. That's not how it happened. Roderick had already fallen. Hmm. Although I'd imagine Lord Forrester would sacrifice himself to save anyone from his house, high or low. Yeah. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first. To see if you can put any weight on that leg. Uh. Go on. Don't stop now. <laughs> it's better to let the blood circulate. Do do do. Let's look at a chair. Look at a window. Look at the window. I'll we'll look at the window first. The Ironwood Grove. <laughs> I can't get through that net. Of course I can't. Come on, come on. There's gonna be some more stuff to look at. Cause there's always stuff to look at. Here we go. Lovely tapestry. Mirror. Still in King's Landing, I suppose. <laughs> Although, I wonder if they'll bring her home. Talia and Ethan. I suppose Lord Ethan now. Asher. Exiled to Essos, unfortunately. He looks cool. Ryan. Never easy being the fourth born son. Mm, he's such a cutie though. Lady Forrester. She's always been kind to me. Treated me like I was a forester myself. Lord Forrester. It was an honor to squire for him. Gregor the Good. <laughs> Roderick. He was our best warrior by far. Oh, it's the good ones fall. Hmm. You seem to be favoring it. Always sad to see a warrior lose a leg. I, I'm fine, Maestro Tengren. Look, I'll show you. Let's have a look see here. I will pick up that. This might help. My help of what? Oh, my back pocket. Okay, never mind. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Bucket of maggots. Rather cute little creatures, aren't they? I guess. No. It's a good thing you've done, bringing that back to House Forrester. By right, that belongs to Lord Ethan now. That sword has been handed down through 50 generations of foresters. Sorry, I said no because some um, freaking people. I really need to no. put. You see there? You're limping again. I'm fine, really. <laughs> really need to put one of those do not knock stickers on my door. 
At least they're gone now. <laughs> <sighs> Always with the knockings. Okay, one more talk. Oh yeah, let's, let's do that. Let's talk. Do I need to talk to him? Did your leg feel weak? No. I just wanted to ask you. Why do the White Hills hate the foresters? I think it's safe to say the feeling is mutual. There's been enmity between the two houses for as long as anyone can remember. I don't doubt someone killed someone, which led to more killings of someone's, and then, well... <laughs> <laughs> Long-rooted hates for one another from the sounds of it. The White Hills want... Uh, the White Hills want Forrester Ironwood. Ah, they'd take it all if we'd let them. Especially now with the Boltons in power. And proceed to clear-cut every last inch of it until there's nothing left. Just as they've done before. Who is the new lord of House Forrester? Why, Ethan, of course. At the Citadel, I swore an oath to serve whichever noble house I was assigned. Advising the late Lord Forrester was an honor. Advising Ethan, his third-born son, is challenging. There's still so much he has to learn, yet the very fate and future of this house rests in his hands. Hmm. Which is rather frightening when you think about it. God, he must be really young then. What will happen to me now? Excellent question. Hmm. Under normal circumstances, you could join hmm. Sir Roiland and his men. Although, given the circumstances of your circumstances, it becomes a bit tricky, doesn't it? Hmm. I suppose it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. Lord Forrester promoted me at the Twins. I, I'm no longer a squire, if that matters. It might, I suppose. But I'll defer to Lord Ethan on this. <laughs> Can I see Ethan? Is he here? He is, but I'm afraid he's indisposed at the moment. He prefers not to be disturbed while practicing his loot. <laughs> like it's unlike on the tapestry. Uh, there we go. Can I go now? I believe your leg will be fine. Any time will tell, but... Lady Forrester. Welcome home, Garrett. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you, my lady. Talia asked to see you. Garrett, I heard what happened. Oh. True? Your oh. family... Oh, I think someone fancies him. I'm so sorry. Nato. Off to bed now. Hurry on. <laughs> she must be the. <laughs> she was just telling me how valiantly Lord. She must Forrester be the young if this is getting told to go to bed. Was lost. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. Whatever you can recall. He loved his family, my lady. He was very proud of Roderick. Yet he was unable to save him. Aww. You were with Roderick, huh? I'm sure it was chaos and confusion. But if you can remember anything, I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. He... He fought valiantly, my lady. Of course he did. He was House Forrester's best. This has been so incredibly difficult for us. Especially the children. But I was told... I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Yes, my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask, was there anything he said? Any last words before he passed? If you can remember. It would mean so much to the family. He said he loved you. Aww. That's very kind of you to say. You have the Forester's sword. This belongs with Ethan now. He's the new lord of the house. Thank you, Garrett. Of course, my lady. They demand a response. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Especially now. Now is the time to prove our strength. I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. Duncan, this was our land. They were our people. Your family. I share your outrage, Sir Royland. I do. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ramsay Snow, the bastard. That is bastard. Garrett, you understand what this means. You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. We're the ones that should be demanding retribution. 
This happened on Forrester land. They killed my family. And they'll pay for what they've done. That much, I promise. Mm. But now is not the time for vengeance. It's not now. When? We have to be smart. Ramsay Snow will be here within the week. And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads while they're still attached to our shoulders. Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett's suffered enough already. You asked too much for him. He deserves to be heard. It was his family they killed. My uncle's right. We need to be smart. Smart. Eddard Stark was smart. And look where that got him. So, what's to be done? <sighs> Ultimately, it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's just a boy who can barely hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. <laughs> but now, this. What? I'll accuse you of murder, and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. I'm not faulting him for what he did. It wasn't murder. It was justice. Not in their eyes. It's just the excuse Ramsay Snow would need to put <sighs> us to the torch and kill us all. I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot take. Which is why you cannot stay. Cannot stay? What do you mean? Where am I going? But well, where would I go? The one place beyond the reach of even House Bolton. You're sending him to the war? The boy's done nothing wrong. Not in the eyes of the Boltons. I'm afraid it's the only solution. Especially now. And the house is so vulnerable. Uncle, you can't send me to the wall. I'm not a criminal. There'd mm. be nothing we could do to protect you. To stay would bring destruction upon us all. I know that's not what you want. I know it's difficult to understand. But you must think of the house. I won't put others at risk. Well, that was a tone change. Fuck. Go. <laughs> I know it doesn't seem fair. But it is what's best. Mwah. You know that's guy, that guy's a bastard. I don't like that it. He he feels he just doesn't like to show his you feels, I guess. My horse, and I'll see you have plenty of food. But we haven't much time. The White Hills will come looking for you. Huh? Word up to me. I'd gladly drive a sword through Lord Whitehill's heart if given the chance. I would. And God's willing, someday I will. But for now, I have House Forrester to consider first. I know you're not a criminal, but Lord Forrester would be proud that you're putting the interests of the House ahead of your own. Many of Lord Forrester's best men have volunteered for the war. His own great uncle was a ranger with the Night's Watch. I'll do what's best. Aww. Which often isn't what's easiest, but necessary nonetheless. I've been waiting for the right moment to tell you. What? Lord Forrester asked me to give you a message. He said, the North Grove can never be lost. Sorry. You caught me by surprise. It's not often discussed, if ever. He said, tell only you. For good reason. Most don't even know it exists. Ooh. They think it's just a myth made up by wildlings and fools. Interesting. I kept that way. I assume you kept your word. You haven't told anyone else, have you? This is important, Garrett. I need to know the truth. Of course not. I told no one. Well done. Lord Forrester was right to put his trust in you. <laughs> I wonder what the other options were. From this forward, this will be our secret. But soon, I may need your help. Ooh. I can't say anything more just yet. Ooh, this makes... Northern North Grove may very well be vital to the future of this house. <laughs> I not breathe a word of it to anyone wanna... at the wall. Become a ranger if you can. It will help. Interesting. Oh, shit, what are rangers again? I can't remember. Is that what Jon Snow was? I can't remember. I am from ice. I'm from ice. I am from ice. 
Remember, you represent House Forest. Your actions at the wall will reflect the honor and dignity of the house. Yeah. You serve with honor. I know you will. Fucking getting exiled to the wall. Fuck off. <laughs> Aw, they're all sad. <laughs> At least I'll probably be the only one alive if if this all goes pear shaped. Aww. Oh, a necklace like that is pretty. Be safe. She fucking loves you. She wants to have your babies when she's old enough. Oh, I feel bad stuff's gonna have to Okay, so that's I guess part two um for this playthrough. Um actually I don't know how long I've been playing uh that part for, but um that seems like a good part to stop at. Um uh, as I said this will probably Oh no 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 um <laughs> This will be um, about two hour. I saw other Let's Players do. I'll probably put it all together anyway. Uh, but yeah. So thanks for watching. And Lady Beaver, I guess, is signing out. <laughs>